welcome to the Coach Kyle Show. Hi there. Welcome, welcome, welcome to another episode of the Coach Kyle Show. This is a live podcast for those who don't know. Um, I'm your host, Kyle Day McKinnon. Remember this show, we talk all things soccer. Um, if you knew, talk all things soccer. But uh, the most important thing for us is to um, inspire and impact our young people. This show uh, was created with the purpose to um, to reach our young people, to bring some amount of clarity. But we can't start this show without reminding each and every uh, one of us um, that greater is he that is in us than he that is in the world. It don't matter the setbacks, it don't matter what people might say, Um, it don't matter what they think, Um, that is their job. And they have that right, and they have that uh, prerogative. It's more important of how you see yourself and what you are listening to from yourself and what you're telling yourself is most important. So we want to continue the show and we want to um, inspire, we want to impact and, and true authenticity. We we try to stay away from the scripted thing and, and trying to get um, likes, but it's more about the message and the transformation uh, through the message. So it's an uncommon show, but we are more than certain at the end of the show, we uh, would have accomplished something, even if uh, if it's through one, one person, even if it's through one person. One person is very important. If you know the story, you know, big man upstairs said, if you could find one, I will save the nation. If you could find one. So one is important. We care about one. We care about one. So quick break um, to highlight uh, what KMX, KMXVI brand stands for. And hopefully you get a bit familiar with it and support uh, the movement as we continue to grow um, this very unique and uncommon uh, program. We'll be right back. Coyote McKinnon and company are ready to dress you in one of their most stylish, comfortable and attractive athletic gears this fall for you to achieve that desired athletic goal. Check out their online store today for your joggers, tank tops, bras, backpacks, sweatshirts and everything else you'll need to complete that look. It's Coyote McKinnon and company. We care. Welcome back to the Coach Kayo Show. If you're now joining us, uh, we're happy to have you here. Please do share, share this live. Um, we will be discussing uh, improve learning in soccer. Improve learning in soccer. Uh, I, sometimes I think we come up with some of the um, some of the craziest topics, but we will 
we will try to navigate through this and see. If you have not done so yet, please subscribe to our channel, Coyote McKinnon and Co. on YouTube. Um, you can also share the live from Facebook, uh, wherever you get your podcast from, Spotify, Anchor. Um, please do, please do um, share, share, invite a friend, um, invite your teammate, colleague. Uh, we want to talk about this learning process and how important it is um, to to grow the game. So, you know, most of our most of what we see and now, um, our youth players, parents, and 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 it's consistent across the board. It's comfort. You know, we can't we can't we can't hide from it. You know, it's more about comfort. It's 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 about convenience. It's about you know what you can do. You know, a certain situation I can only go as far as I can go, but there's a difference in in this is how far I can go because I've gone as far as I can, and I will go this far. I will go this far and and I need to get it based on this distance. Um, for me, that is a bit different and it, it creates this discomfort and it, it eradicates learning pretty much. It eradicates learning. Um, and we need, we need learning to improve soccer. We need it in this country more than ever. Uh, because it's such a big country with so much resources um, and the constant the constant battle is how do we remove the pay to play model to improve the game and i'm saying yeah based on who you've allowed to coach your child or based on what environment you're in um, that is easy uh, you can easily uh, point to that as your reference point for why the game is not in, is not really going forward, or why the game is not improving, especially at the youth level. But but you don't understand that in in, in, in big academies they pay there too. They pay there too. So don't know where we get this idea that. Um, Academies across the world, players are not paying to be a part of those academy. People are leaving their homes, leaving their, their country to go pay in, a next, in, a, in an academy uh, in the next continent so they can live out their dreams. And the problem is there's no learning. <laughs> and you always have to blame something when something else is not working. Soccer is still a game um, that you have to learn. You have to continuously learn. <clears throat> so the players are, the players want comfort. The parents want comfort. Um, I heard somebody said um, the other day, there's too many mama's boys. And there's too many uh, players who their dads want to, this is the opportunity to live the dream that they never had. And there's, there's, no, there's no teaching or developing the attitude uh, to work hard, to be dedicated, um, to want something bigger for yourself, to want something bigger for your family, to, to want to uh, challenge yourself beyond uh, the common ground. So that's that's a problem that you know it's, it's only who want to figure it out will figure it out. So one of the things about improving learning soccer, we able to remove this um, we're able to move this comfort and set step ourselves into um, 
discomfort. You know, one thing about about this being being uncomfortable, it's it, it creates it creates conflict. It creates challenges. You know, you once you're uncomfortable with a situation, it means you're not familiar with it. Is on familiar territory. So right, right there, it creates conflict because if the brain don't understand something, it refuses uh, to go down that line, for better word. <clears throat> so most people, they want to stay in that comfort zone because they want to. Um, they want to stay away from conflict. And conflict don't necessarily mean fighting or, or, or um, physical or, you know, just conflict of I'm asking my body, my brain um, to do things that I'm not accustomed to. It's not familiar. But as well, but that is where learning starts. I've got to be in uncomfortable situations. I have, I must be able to deal with stresses. The brain is constantly under stress within a soccer game. You have four moments and there, there's this constant flow where the brain must go from one situation into a next situation. And then it, it must be able to, 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 to think ahead about what is coming and how you will deal with that and what is the next action after you dealt with the first action and then there's a third action and, and, and the brain is constantly under this stress that every single person or 90% of the people that I know want their kids to stay away from that stress. Yet, they want them uh, to play soccer at a higher level. And they want to blame others uh, for their child um, lack of lack of dedication, lack of commitment, lack of bravery, lack of guts, lack of all the things that is not just good for soccer, but good when you would have gone and left them in this world. Um, <clears throat> so we don't, they don't, we stay away from the uncomfortable thing because it produces conflict. You know, there's a story uh, that I remember with, you know, a little girl who had the ability to do anything in the world. Um, so she decided that you know what I'm gonna I'm gonna take on painting, um, and she felt like with every stroke she was doing uh, a fantastic job. It seems like every stroke it got better, and she when she was finished she she painted uh, she painted a master a masterpiece. She knew, she knew right there and then that, you know what? I want to be an artist because I'm good. I felt it. I, I know I could do this. She got anxious after a while though, feeling like there's more. Uh, there's more that I need to learn. There's more uh, that I need to know and, and, and found herself in a place where, okay, I feel stuck. I, I feel like uh, I'm not going anywhere. Because she wasn't, she felt like she wasn't learning. Um, she started looking for other options. You know, you know, you know, parents like to say, and people like to say, and, you know, don't put all your eggs in one basket or have a backup plan. The last time I checked, you have you have one life, and you are a unique person. That means there's 
there's one specific thing that you need to do that brings fulfillment, that brings peace. Because they use the same philosophy in school. When you get to college, you got minor and you got major. You got your major and then everything else is a part of, of what you're really focusing on. There's a focus. So you got this one thing. So don't put all your eggs in one basket. So <laughs> they forget to tell you, though, that one rotten apple could spoil the whole bunch. So don't put all your eggs in one basket. Put some, you could put some rank eggs in there, too. Or don't put all your apples in one basket. Put a little bit of apple and a little bit of something that might spoil, you know, too many hands in a pot spoiled it. Oh, we could go in on and on and on and on and on. We forget to discuss that part. But she got really anxious and she felt like she wasn't learning, so she needed to look, um, seeking out more options. But after looking and seeking and, and trying, um, years would have passed and now she's 25 and she's walking. She would have walked miles and miles and miles and have not achieved nothing yet. <laughs> In that moment, the story said that she quickly learned um, that life is not about possibilities. Life is not about possibilities. Life is about decision making. Things that can improve your life, things that can help you to move forward. Obviously, she went back to painting. She went back to painting because she learned that if you're not if you're not improving, if you're not learning, you can become very anxious and you want to go into directions that you have no business going. She went back to painting. Now, where's your magic? She found her magic. She found her magic through learning. Where is your magic? What are you learning? Are you staying in that position where it's uncomfortable? Are you staying in that position where there's doubts? Because to learn, you have to put yourself in, in, in if you're going to improve in any aspect, you must have this, this sense of vulnerability. You have to be in a position where you're uncomfortable. That's where the magic is. Because you're outside of the border. You're outside of the boundary lines. You're outside of the limitation or the limitations that people put on you. You're outside of the label. <clears throat> As Brown said, too many of us, too many of us are not living our dreams because we live in our fears. It's a powerful statement. Les Brown said that too many of us are not living our dreams because we live in our fears. When we talk about that uncomfortable situation, You know, a lot of times we're, you know, a lot of kids here are taught, you know, you need to see, you need to know the destination 
It needs to be clear as day before you, you get started. So we've taken out fate out of the equation. We take out learning and developing and progressing out of, the, out of the equation because you have stayed in your comfort all your life. Excuse me. A lot, a lot of what you have, a lot of what you have makes you comfortable. Don't necessarily make you great. Because you might still be searching for something that you never had. And most people, when they're searching for something they never had, they normally take away things from people who are going on that journey because you can't teach some, somebody something you don't know. So you want to stop the learning process. <clears throat> How many of you still live in your fears? You know, that one, don't put all your eggs in one basket, have a backup plan and all these things. You weren't born with fears. You're born with a specific purpose to shine light on this dark world, to give hope to the hopeless. To tell people there's a snake outside. Guys, if they like it or not, it's still their choice. You don't want to learn because it's uncomfortable. That means we don't want to improve, but we ask for improvement. But we want improvement in comfort and don't understand that comfort dismiss things. When you are comfortable, you dismiss things. And if you dismiss things, how would you improve? So <laughs> it's a challenge. And our young people, our young people are the ones that are suffering the most because those that are in charge of them have found comfort. They have found security. And if you say anything else, the question is, why are young people struggling with confidence why are they uh, why are they lacking with self-worth self-awareness why is why do we have all these mental issues mental health issues people are bullying other people's kids they will do anything just for a like on instagram on tiktok and everything else they will do anything for a like. They will go far and beyond just to get a like. But they won't go far and beyond to deal with challenges that will bring success, that will improve their learning to play soccer. They will quit at the first challenge they encounter. but they will be celebrated becoming a star on Instagram doing the worst things. They don't want to learn in most cases. And those that want to learn really don't want to be taught. So what do we have? What do we have? Lack of improvement across the board. 
to know what? You gotta find something to blame, find someone to blame. No responsibility, no choice, no decision making, no accountability, no nothing. They're not improving because somebody else. They're coming from you. They spend time with you. They are a representation of you. So if they're struggling, there's obviously something wasn't done there. So let's start there first. No one can put pressure on you if you put pressure on yourself. And what is pressure? We we use we don't want we don't want our athletes to improve. We don't want them to learn. You don't want them to, to go through that process. We don't want them to. It's difficult. And we use it and we say it's too much pressure and it's too much this and it's too much that. Oh, it's too much pressure. The last time I checked, when you lift 20 pounds, you will get 20 pounds muscle. And 20 pounds muscle cannot do what the 50 pound need to do. So you're gonna add, you're gonna need to add some pressure there. But it's perspective. What is that pressure preparing you for? Because you can't get there without preparing. Fail to prepare, prepare to fail. So what is too much pressure? When it comes to learning, when it comes to improving, what is too much pressure? These are some of the things, these are some of the things that you hear in the in the in the soccer environment, in the soccer culture, when you when it relates to young people and development and money is being spent and money is being invested, and there is too much pressure. It's always a big issue when it's coming from a mother who has a son saying that he's too, under too much pressure. When you should be literally inviting that pressure so that you learn to overcome, you learn to become stronger, you learn to deal with that demand. No, don't want that. But you can learn from pro insulation because they understand. They understand the importance um, of improvement. They know what improvement truly means. Take a look. We'll be right back. Now is the time to keep your family warm with quality insulation for your home from Pro Insulation Company. At Pro Insulation, we solve all your residential and commercial insulation needs. Attics, crawl spaces, walls and ceilings, new and existing homes, and we offer traditional insulation and spray foam. Call Pro Insulation Company today for your free in-home estimate. For all your insulation needs. Leave it to the pros and call Pro Insulation Company in Plainfield today. Welcome back, Coach Kaya Show here. Kaya Day. Listen, we have to improve our learning ability in soccer. And we have to be able to overcome uh, these setbacks. These, uh, there's a lot of autocratic leadership within, um, within the sport of soccer from top down where you know people forget that the game is about perception which dictates long-term work in memory those two things forces and encourage decision making decision making is about what I've downloaded what I've encoded, what has been given to me, excuse me, what, 
but I was guided to. It's all part of learning. You know, we got overrated words now like elite and and academy, player development, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. And these words are giving people a false sense um, that learning is taking place. That learning is taking place. These big words. Nothing is wrong with these words and, and if it's used correctly and it's, it's the actual focus, but in most cases, those words are, are used as, as, as very attractive words with little to no substance. <clears throat> and I, I use that because looking at Japan played the U.S. the other day. Um, and I remember Jamaica made uh, their first World Cup. That was the game that they won, 0-5. I think with more... Uh, Tapa scored about, I think he scored two goals there. And, and in CONCACAF, the USA is the powerhouse. USA, Mexico, obviously, and, and Jamaica would have improved and, and have professional players all over the world. But US, oftentimes, um, they're on top. Look where Japan is today. From, from the women's program, from the, you know, I, I went to the World Cup in, well, in Trinidad, Youth 17, and, and from 20, um, Youth 17 World Cup in, in Trinidad and Tobago, the women's Youth 17 World Cup, and I was there, and I, I saw Japan and China, and I, I was amazed by the, the, the structure and the discipline and the the IQ of those players then and I was saying they are coming they are coming now look where so look what Japan did to USA in their friendlies I'm not talking about results because anybody could lose on a day. Anybody could, you could lose, you could win, you could play so poorly. And 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 uh, I'm not I'm not highlighting that. What I'm saying is, look at the progression of Japan from where they were to what they're doing now. That's what I'm highlighting. They're learning, not the result of the game. Anybody could play bad, and you could have your worst game, and 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 and. You could bounce back. But we quick to want to remove the manager. We quick, we quick to say Ben Alta no good and, and all of these things and that, that, that. Ben Alta is a national team coach. What is happening down here that is sending him that 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 the elite, the academy and everything is what are they sending to him? They have to go through your 15s, 17s, 19s, 20s, 21s, 23s before they get to him. And he will take the responsibility because obviously he's a manager. And if if it's not going good, he's not stupid. He, he, he understands that when the thing's not going good, if you're a true leader, you have to take the responsibility. It's either you didn't do what you're supposed to do or you, you allow things to happen that you should not have allowed to happen. Either way, you're gonna you will pay the price. Like every manager know that. That is that is normal. Like Marino said, I think it was Marino said it to, to Lampard or something. Oh, you, you you get fired? Now you're a manager. Now you're a coach. So that was the bigger problem. That was the bigger thing for me there. Look at the improvement of Japan. You know, they made U.S. look very normal. I say it just could be a bad day. But like I said, I'm not highlighting what they did and their performance and, and none of that. I'm, I'm highlighting the learning and the improvement that is needed within soccer that will take you to higher heights. That your investment will truly be meaningful. 
it's not about the academies and the elites and all the fancy names in front and who coming from where and and the and the accent and 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 all of these things and all that and how big your program is and are they learning are they learning john wooden said it best the difference between i taught it and they learn it a lot of people teaching things a lot of people saying a lot of things but can you see uh, can you see um, it happening on the field of play can you see it you know some you don't even don't even hear it or know it but for you who do are you seeing it or somebody says swivel swivel swivel, swivel your body swivel your body and like that's not a football or soccer terminology what are you talking about and 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 the reason why it's it's the reason why i'm saying it because i look and i didn't see nobody swivel or do nothing with their body because it don't exist within the game The coach probably know what he's saying or what she is saying. But who's learning it? Because what you said and what I'm seeing is two different things. It means no learning is happening. Because if if you want to know if the if 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 there's improvement and learning taking place, when there's an invention, when you say something, now let's go and see how it's it's how it impacts the behavior. Of the player. I think Doug Lamoff said that you, you can't catch five rabbits. You can't catch five rabbits. Give somebody five, six, seven, eight things to do on a field, then then you you what are you looking for? What are they even trying to do? You not seeing it, and they're not doing it. So they leave the practice. Just saying, just remember when they then when they nutmeg somebody and they say, Well, I'm getting better technically. That is learning. Oh, you have a problem. Because a lot of people don't care until you don't care about what they think it is or until you tell them listen this is not a place for you go find somewhere else then they're mad but they don't care they don't they don't feel it's necessary to do what they need to do because certain programs you can't get in not not even be not even if you can pay, you can't get in because they don't want you there. You don't fit nothing that represent what they're looking for. But you will give your right hand to be in those programs because you feel like it's going to take you to the point where you want to go. You don't even know that point, but you, but you feel, you feel because of the status quo, that will get them to that point. You there's no place for learning and improving in the game of soccer. There's no place for that. There's only comfort and convenience. And you know that when you are in the position that you see improvement in behaviors, in mindset. And then they go back into the environment and it's trouble. And you see why they lack what they lack when they came first. But then they will say, I am happy that you're no longer part of that because they, they are uncomfortable. There's no winning. There's no winning in comfort. Comfort only dismiss things. Comfort will dismiss behaviors. Comfort will dismiss things that are said that are harmful because I have security. I have security. So I'm going to let that thing pass. But that, that same thing will come back and visit you five years. And then your life messed up. Your mentality messed up. 
You don't have trust. You have trust issues. You have all these things because comfort dismiss things. Comfort dismiss things. And so many coaches are, 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 are being loyal to things and doing things because they believe that people can take away their comfort. They're not going to say it. They're not going to do it. They're not going to ruffle nobody's feathers because it will take away their comfort. That means it will take away their money. So now we've created a culture where it's better to be comfortable than learn. Remember, comfort dismiss things. Nobody learns in comfort. You don't get stronger in comfort. You can't, you can't get strong enough lifting five pounds. You're going to have to put yourself in an uncomfortable situation to be stronger. You can't run a marathon if you don't train for two marathons. You can't run half of a marathon and think you're going to be ready for a marathon. And half of a marathon might make you think that it's comfortable because you can do it. Now you've got to go run a, in a whole marathon. What is going to happen to you? There's nothing in life that tells me or, or, or have taught me that comfort helps you to learn. It only dismiss things. So anytime young people talking to you, they might not be able to do, uh, you know, be able to do nothing with nothing with no one else. God have to do that. But for you, you have an opportunity. You have an opportunity. to change that, to improve. Because the world is not getting easier. It's getting harder. It's getting much more difficult. So how are we going to improve this learning process? How are we going to have better soccer players? How are we going to have people stop arguing about how much money they're paying because they're seeing the benefits of their investment how how are we going to how are we going to do that how are we going to learn what we need to do we need to challenge our young people challenge them don't accept where they are push them to what they can be i know i know it's difficult and coaches looking down be like you know what you're talking about push who you push them, they will push, you will push them right out of this program and push them to the next program, which will happily collect that money and keep them in the comfortable zone. So boy, we're not pushing. We're not pushing nobody. That's okay. I hope the parents understand that though. Now you're not pushing them. And by you not pushing them and you not challenging them, you disqualify their learning ability. You disqualify them from learning because you have chosen to keep them in their comfort. Because if you don't, then they will leave. That's what you said, right? If you challenge them too hard, if you put them in uncomfortable situation, they will go home and cry and say, coach being too hard on me, coach is too rough, coach is this. Now I'm not saying to, uh, to get outside of soccer, um, but you have, to, you have to deal with the things that comes to the field and don't help the learning like deceitfulness and treachery and lies and things. Yeah, you might have to deal with those things because it comes to the field. And when it comes to the field, um, it brings a different type of dynamics which don't allow learning because to learn is to improve. And the one job the devil got, kill, steal, and destroy. So nothing good will happen with treacherous people, people who like to be deceitful and create stories and, and stuff like that. So you might, might have to deal with that. But challenge the athletes. Make them uncomfortable. 
We can improve learning in soccer. We'll improve. We will change the mentality and the issues that you're seeing with club, parents, coaches on a consistent basis. It's not no. It's not a secret. So don't don't try to don't try to blame me. I don't. I'm just the one telling you there's a snake outside. Don't blame me. Make your own choice. Build more perception. The link between. Uh, perception and long-term memory is decision-making. So we have to use more perception. We have to develop our players' uh, ability to perceive things. You know, there's too many things happening within the game that your conscious brain cannot use. And those things are the stresses of the game that you your mind must be ready for. So you've got to create those situations to improve the learning ability of our athletes so we could see better, uh, better soccer games on the weekend. Best practice methods that produce more specificity within um, and progression within the practice it, it needs to it needs to look like the game i know it looks fancy for instagram and and facebook and everything else and it's a it's a good selling tool but is it improving the learning ability of the players are they playing um are they playing better soccer? I was able to analyze a, a youth game. I supposed to be a high-level team, and it was so difficult. It was so difficult to identify, to identify the identity of, of the teams. Who are they? What do they do? It seems like they were doing a lot of what they were given rather than what they can create. So it just looked like I'm playing with familiarity right now. I'm not playing with no game intelligence because I'm not, I'm not forcing uh, the opposition. I'm not forcing them into behavior so I can do what I want to do. It's more of play with what I see. That's for you nines, you eights, you sevens. Ah, I'll give you up to you twelve. But 13, 15, 17, you're still playing with what you see. So our practice need to be better. The big one nobody likes. You have to put more hours in. More hours must be spent in the game, on and off the field. It will help with your perception, help you to see more things, more things that you can try, more situations that you can encode and download and so that you know what you might do if this situation, it starts there. So now you go back to practice and you might see that moment again, but you already thought about what I can do in this moment and your brain will respond. Your, your brain will not respond to something it never see, it never know. It has never done. Oh, this might be even the biggest one. Invest <laughs> more in your athletes. Invest more in your athletes. You want to improve learning? Invest more in athletes. Um, a lot of people, they, they invest less, but they invest less over a longer period with still no returns. So we invest. We invest where it's comfortable, but we will do it over a five-year period. What's the difference? What's the difference? $3,000 for a season for five years, $15,000. One year, let's say one year. Let's say one year. You, you invest $3,000 for five years, but then you child quit. 
it was comfortable, but you spent 15000 But you will say it is too expensive to, to train in a high-level program. Let's say you go overseas and they say you have to pay $8,000 to stay there for a year. Let's say that they say, they say $12,000 to stay there a year. Stay there a year, which they have proven they can move players. They can improve players. They have improved players before. You will say it's too expensive, but you will spend five years. You will spend 15000 in five years. It's really smart. And still no result. Still nothing. You still spend more. Oh, you're spending from since you're nine, since you're seven. You've been, you, you have been spending money on, on privates, on tours, on tournaments, on teams. I do the maths. Do the maths. Stop for one second and do the maths. Good coaching. We'll end with that one. Good coaching. You always know a good coach based on what he says and the response and the behavior of the athlete on the field. You can, you know what they're doing in practice and in practice, you make a comment and you make an intervention, excuse me, and you see the behavior of the athlete. How does it impact the behavior of the athlete? Do you see any changes? How are they reflecting what you said? You know, most people say, well, well, the athlete, you know, and in some cases, yeah, they don't listen. But that's the responsibility of the leader, you know, to make sure that learning is happening based on what you're saying. Maybe you're saying too much. Maybe you're saying too little. Maybe you're saying it at the wrong time. Who knows? You, you have to keep going back and forth because the idea is to improve the learning ability within SACO. You have to reflect because you want to learn. Most coaches can't reflect because the last session is nine. And then they have an hour drive home. Then they have to go deal with their family and their kids and all of these things. So how are they reflecting if they're, ref if they're not reflecting because they don't have the ability to remember everything also? Coaches don't want to know that they also forget. They don't want to believe they forget things too. They don't want to believe they just told the kid that we're going to be dealing with opening up your bodies to look forward. And then the first the first thing in the practice is a bad pass and they stop the session. Hey, why are you bad passing but that's not what you asked. That's not what you were looking for. You were looking for the body positioning. So you obviously in one second forget what you ask them to do because you're focusing on something else. So even you lack focus. You not you don't have no focus. You're gonna have on. You said focus, coach, focus, players. Strong coach should have strong players. So if you are strong and you're demanding and you have weak people around you, you have to figure that out. You have to start, you got to start trying to understand, is this the best fit? Is this the right situation? Not every player wants to deal with that. And that's why players move and go different places all the time at the higher level. We're not talking about the, about low level. We're talking about high level. Not every coach is for a player. And that's that's understood. So, hopefully, uh, these things would have sparked some interest. Um, like I said, be mad with me. I will still tell you there's a snake in the yard. I, don't, I haven't said, don't go outside. There's a snake outside. I, I did not say, I did not mention... Or I did not give you a command to don't go outside. All I said, there's a snake outside. 
You have a choice. You have a choice. To decide if it makes sense or it don't make sense. But don't say, I don't make sense just because I told you there's a snake outside. You just make your choice. You could go outside or you could stay inside. It's a choice. Um, focus on learning. Focus on learning. Let's get back to that. Let's focus on learning. Everything has to take care of itself. All the things you're worrying about, you will not have to worry about it in the future. Keep your focus on the right thing. They say make first things first. Focus on the learning aspect. Learning is the most important thing. Growing every day will come from learning. What I tune in and what I tune out. Hopefully this was helpful. I want to thank all of you for being on the being on this um, live podcast. Uh, please do share, share, share as much as you can, because um, changes are needed. Um, leaders are needed. Um, we need stronger young men, stronger young women. We need, because they will help a life. They will stop that child from going and commit suicide or stop that child from being bullied and, and all the negativity that we see. Get their friends off of drug abuse and because and, and, they listen to each other. So the more we improve, the more we improve that individual, they will go and be a light um, in, 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 in darkness, in dark areas that you and I might not be able to reach. And they save a life. They give a person opportunity to live a day, to live another day. And they will tell the story and it's a domino effect. So let's focus. Let's get back to that focus of, 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 of enhancing the learning abilities improving the learning um, within SACL so that we create a better community, a better society, a better country, and a better world so that all of us can have some amount of peace. Thank you again. Uh, please subscribe to the channel, Coyote McKinnon & Co. Um, if you feel this content was helpful and, it, and, and you believe it can uh, do something good, for someone somewhere, please do support. You can have our cash app just on, on, on the screen uh, to support our movement that we continue to um, help our young people across across the board, across the board. We focus only on the positive and we leave the negative um, to guide their own discovery. Stay blessed. Have a good night. See you next Monday. A wide variety of episodes are already available, chock full of incredible insight from two qualified experienced coaches. Here are some previews of eye-opening quotes. Lots of players think they need to drive an hour or two hours to get good training. Because community clubs do not feel, most of them, if not all of them, don't feel the responsibility to provide every child the best opportunity. This is for players to have fun, so why not name it Rex? A elite league shouldn't be based on teams. It should be based on the coaching. There's no integrity in the game. It's all about business. It's it, That's all it is. There's nothing about soccer first. Everything is about giving the athletes an experience. We hope you are available to tune in. New episodes every Monday night.